Hey gang, welcome back to the big boy. I'm going to uh, look at Iron Curtain again. 1975 scenario. This is uh, looking at positions at the end of turn four. Uh, big attack into Hamburg here. Drove the air mobile unit in here to uh, sort of landed it there. <coughs> Got uh, killed the enemy unit, the, the NATO unit that was here. Pushed in. NATO countered and counterattacked uh, from this direction and actually conducted an overrun uh, because these guys had lost a step and forced a step loss and a retreat. And it's at that point I kind of realized that the retreats are almost as equally important as the uh, step losses that are inflicted during the combat. And that uh, that has forced some unforced errors by both the Soviets and uh, the, the West Germans and, and other allies. But as you can see, there's not a lot left now up here in the north, although I do have some reinforcements sort of making their way through. They kind of they kind of dropped in on Berlin to say howdy and, and offer some support in one attack as they were literally passing through. But uh, holding a kind of a thin line here. Now, of course, I could take all these units away and push them up here because it doesn't matter if the Germans go into East Germany. It just doesn't matter. Uh, the West Germans' job is to prevent the capture of hexes here and putting units across the border, uh, the Rhine, uh, which forms a border. And so in order to do that, we've got to be, we've got to be, uh, we've got to get mechanized units across these bridges, I could pull a Soviet air mobile unit, like, uh, where are they? One of these guys, I could get him super close, uh, just, you know, fly him in, uh, the 10 hexes, and I guess then move him in the exploit, and next turn, power drop and capture some bridges, and then try and get some guys across. But before I do any of that, I, I've got to, I've got to be able to break through somewhere significantly, and that has not been possible yet. I thought we got close here. I uh, <clears throat> I did some attacks, some overruns here, and formed a gap around Hanover. But the counterattacks here were very aggressive. It did cost a two-step uh, brigade in terms of losses, uh, but the counterattacks wiped out uh, three divisions. Uh, they were they were all reduced, so it wasn't a big deal. But uh, they uh, had a bad retreat path that was blocked off, and then they were they were attacked. So that was pretty nasty uh, there. Now down in the Fulda Gap, it's just a total shit show. Uh, the, the Soviets and the Czechs and the Warsaw Pact guys just can't get their act together. Uh, they've conducted some overruns here, knocking out these little uh, uh, West German brigades. And they've uh, pushed in towards Würzburg, uh, pushed towards Fulda, with the anticipation that reinforcements are coming next turn. Uh, all kind of mid fair to middling effort. Uh, they actually got a little bit closer. They were up in around this area, but counterattack again. I overran with this stack and uh, knocked the snot out of these guys and forced a retreat and took uh, and forced a step loss uh, down here. It's just Nuremberg, this is a whole area. Uh, I thought I had a nice little cadence going with the Soviets with a overrun to knock a step off, then an attack to knock another step off and potentially get a retreat in either of those two situations. But this kind of, there was kind of a double line sort of floating along here and they just reformed, counterattacked. Uh, there was a Soviet unit in here that was uh, edging around. They just counterattacked with uh, three units, uh, two units, no, three units. I, I lost two units, two brigades, but it took out that penetration. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot of super strong stuff left down here. So this is probably dead, a dead effort down here. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Depends. If you get, if you get lucky with a, a two to one attack in the open, it could be, could be good for the Soviets, but otherwise it's going to be a bit of a challenge. Nothing's going on down here. This is all completely pointless. I, I don't see... The, the point of it and plus it's almost impossible to 
clear this road with the with the units you have. Even if you pull pull the whole bunch of stuff in here, all I got to do is just you know put a unit every hex, put them in mountain mountain hexes, so that the air strikes have to roll the six to hit them. Uh, these are all one steppers, mind you. Uh, then you've got to get the result, right? It's got to get the right combat result. Now, retreats might make a difference. It might allow us to uh, push the, the units back, but uh, I've already taken one, two, three, four, five step losses down here for the loss of uh, two or one, <laughs> one Austrian unit because they're sitting in Vienna. They don't have to take retreats, so they're happy as a clam, as they say. Meanwhile, these guys are going to move down here, block block the ac ac the access for the Warsaw Pact, so they have to go around to come in. All takes more time, so we're not really doing much more stuff down here at all. We're just going to ignore that section of the map entirely and leave those units where they are. So that's a quick update on turn four. Uh, you know, the question then comes, uh, and it was soup weather, by the way. So that meant that uh, if you didn't have a W for sort of all weather terrain, all weather uh, flying, you weren't able to fly. That gave the allies a NATO, turn, NATO uh, side a significant advantage. And uh, they put units up to gain air superiority and rolled quite well. Didn't take, I think they lost one unit onto the turn track as a replacement, but then uh, that allowed me to have uh, three or four attacks uh, in against the, the the Soviets plus a couple of chem attacks and uh, that uh, chipped away at the edges of the, the Soviet strength. Anywhere there was a double a double stack we were going for it, particularly a double stack adjacent to another unit so I could try for the follow-on attacks. And uh, while I did get some follow-on attacks, particularly up here, we, we wiped out three divisions up here uh, in with Air Force units, uh, aircraft. Uh, they were all reduced, but uh, we, we knocked the snot out of them. Anyway, uh, total losses for the turn. Eight Soviet divisions so far uh, in exchange for six steps. So that's a pretty hefty uh, price to pay. I don't see... I don't see how the Soviets achieve victory conditions here. It's another... We're probably just one more turn away from taking Berlin. We should knock those guys out. Uh, come turn four, hopefully. And uh, after that, now we're going to get, uh, now we've got to generate reasons to roll. Uh, so there's, you know, these victory conditions I mentioned to you earlier. Uh, they have captured a couple of ports up here, but they don't have the six of eight they need. And getting up to here and getting it across, uh, I think is going to be a stretch. So uh, we're, we, we have... Um, we have attributed away the fighting capability of the. I'm going to move that turn marker to four. Uh, the, the Soviet forces. Anyway, just a quick little update. Talk to you soon. We'll uh, see what happens next. I don't know if we'll play another turn or not, but uh, who knows? All the best.